Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am Mark the Movie Man from The Final Cut, and thank you so much, Mr. Tiger Dude, Tony Estrada, for letting me do a review of, during my favorite month of the year, October. It's Horror Movie Month, and for a big horror movie fan like me, I, you know, I just love this time of year, though I watch horror movies all year round. Now, Tony asked me to do a review for his channel, which I feel very uh, honored to do so, and I wanted to do something special for you. So, I didn't choose a newer film, I wanted to bring you a film you may not have known about, but you should. It's called The House. It's from 1986 from director Steve Miner who did uh, direct the Day of the Dead remake. He also directed Lake Placid as well as Friday the 13th Part 2 and 3. Now Steve Miner gives us the story of Roger Cobb who's this horror author kind of a la Stephen King who has his aunt die in this big creepy old house. Well what also happened to creepy old house was his kid disappeared there a few years prior to his aunt's death. Well he decides to live in this house to kind of first not only get inspiration and some solitude for his writing but also kind of figure out what's going on since his aunt was a little bit crazy and there are some peculiar things that are going on with this house well we soon find out that Vietnam vet Roger Cobb who's the horror author uh, is it going crazy his aunt was it going crazy the house is truly haunted and we watch as this house not only terrorizes Roger Cobb but also gives him brief uh, visions of his son who who was missing from so many years ago. This is an interesting film. I really enjoyed this film, and though it was starring pretty much all TV actors in it, uh, let me tell you, it's just fun. It's crazy. It's out there, but it is a decent horror film, a uh, decent haunted house film especially. Now, you got William Catton here. He was recently in an independent film called Sparks, but he is most famous for playing the greatest American hero, and he does great as the role of Roger Cobb, especially with the casting. You wouldn't picture him as a Vietnam vet, but because he's kind of just your average guy. He doesn't quite look like the soldier type. But not many were who were recruited in Vietnam. So, you know, he, he kind of was the common man one. Then you got Richard Mull in here playing Big Ben. His buddy who uh, is uh, his buddy from Vietnam, which is kind of the catalyst for all the things that were going on at the haunted house. And, uh, you know, their past. And I really liked Richard Mull's character as well. He played Bull in Night court. You also got uh, Kay Lentz in here who plays the ex-wife of Roger Cobb. Now she was the voice of American Maid in The Tick. Really liked her. She was the, she playing an actress, playing an actress of course. <laughs> and I liked the chemistry between Roger, between William Catt and Kay Lentz. Really felt like there was a history there. They still kind of had feelings for each other but that loss of their child really did kind of tear them apart. And then look also here for George Went. Norm from Cheers. He's here as the nosy next door neighbor playing it to the hilt and there are some just some great practical monster effects in here as well definitely cleaned up in the dvd and the streaming version to be sure uh there's just some wild creatures going on a wild story behind the house and i just i loved it it's a very unique and interesting tale and i think that if you're a big fan of haunted house films you should see this especially for the really crazy kind of scary female demon and the demon kids in here. Yeah, there's all kinds of creepy things that go on in this house. And they're great. All practical effects. No CGI here, folks. And it's just a lot of fun. From the soundtrack and the humor that they put in here to some pretty scary and intense moments as well. All revolving uh, around uh, the Roger Cobb's experience in Vietnam and this haunted house and how it uses that experience to try to get back at him, okay? Because it is the mid-80s, that 
fresh still in their minds, Vietnam was a theme for a number of horror films. So that doesn't surprise me here. So, so you know, if this was remade today, they would probably have someone from the Iraqi War to give you kind of a perspective in this. But still, check out House 1986. I uh, give it four stubs, okay? I watched this film a lot when I was a kid. Probably too young to see it, but I still, I watched it, and I watched it recently, and it still creeps me out to this day, some of the scenes. It still made me smile, and at the end, I still felt like I didn't waste my time, and I don't think you'll feel that way either once you see this film. Now, if you have seen this film, please comment down below. Don't forget to check out Tony Estrada's, all his great reviews. Thank you again for letting me be on your show, buddy. And if you want to check my stuff out, check it out at youtube.com slash specialmark, uh, Special Mark Productions there, the final cut, and you also have a web page of specialmarkproductions.com. I also got a web a podcast called The Spoiler Room. Lots of things going on on there. But again, thank you so much, Tony. And until next time, folks, remember, keep that ticket stub.